Well, hello again from Kingston. As much to my surprise as to yours, the bridge has been open for less than a week and traffic is pretty steady. So I thought I'd give you a look at how the opening occurred and how things are going. I'll see you at the end. Thanks for watching. It can only have been considered unhelpful to have a moderate snowfall two nights before opening the crossing. It certainly provided a challenge for the dedicated boat crews. But it did nothing to slow the pace of the removal of equipment and materiel from the site. Amongst other preparations, a skilled team from Utilities Kingston confirmed the programming of the traffic lights. And the exodus of equipment continued steadily. Early on Tuesday morning, the crew was engaged in the removal of the fences that have surrounded the construction site. And at the Kingston East Community Centre, preparations were well advanced for an invited audience to hear about the project from its principal partners and to celebrate it before the official opening. All too soon though, the official party proceeded to the crossing and with a proclamation from the town crier, formally opened the bridge for public use. The ribbon cutting party led the way on to the bridge. Then it was the turn of the family that had made the highest bid to roll across the bridge on their scooters. McCoy Bus Lines bid over $5,000 to be the first vehicle to cross the bridge, filling their luxury bus with family and friends. Higher up on Gore Road, members of the amazing crew that built the bridge stood by ready to remove the barriers clearing the way for full public access. Moments later, the line of cars that had been patiently waiting began their trip. And before very long, the stream from the other side reached this end of the bridge. As night fell, it became very evident that the bridge would be well used and very popular. continued to attract attention for the rest of the week, proving no less popular, even with the wider loads. And we'll wind down this week from all the excitement with a look at some morning doves, enjoying the sunshine on a snowy day. So that's how things are going and hopefully the traffic will continue to flow relatively smoothly. There are some issues with the adjustment of one or two traffic lights, not on the crossing but affected by it and otherwise 
everything's going really well. So we'll look forward to better days in the spring and returning to another project. In the meantime, Merry Christmas to one and all and a very happy new year. Thanks for watching.